Well, Tom Petrovsky with uh, his eyes on the numbers today. How's, uh, how's the story looking today, Tom? Pete, we're going to kick off with a reasonable improvement this morning. The futures are telling us that we'll be up by just short of a half of 1%. Not a bad outcome under the circumstances. US markets plotted along last night. Uh, there were modest, very modest gains, I must say, at the close. The uh, Nasdaq up by a third, but there were only the, uh, modest improvements for the Dow and the S&P 500. What uh, resonated with investors most last night was that a voting member of the Federal Open Market Committee, uh, the US Federal Reserve, um, spoke about a situation where rate cuts could potentially be entertained a way off into the future but that was enough to at least see long and short term interest rates fall Pete and that was uh, enough to support the markets at the margin so that's uh, significant um, in the context of what we're going to look at today in local terms because we've got the monthly inflation reading to look at so that's for the month of October uh, it's important to note that these numbers don't carry as much weight as the quarterly figures but still Still, anything with inflation in the title gets examined quite closely. The number to look out for is 5.2. So uh, that's the annualised pace of in, uh, headline inflation that the market's looking for, uh, a moderation from 5.6. Uh, if you get anything north of 5.2, obviously that's unwelcome. Uh, anything below 5.2 will be celebrated to an extent. Uh, so that'll be out at 11.30. That's arguably the feature in local terms. Mm -hmm. We've still got the uh, US inflation numbers on Friday to get through as well. All right, 5.2, the magic number. Tom Petrovsky, thank you.